Hey guys! Today we're going to be making this miniature version of a Rapunzel doll inspired by the animated dolls you can get. Obviously a much smaller and more simple version, but I really hope you'll enjoy. Let's get started. You want to start out with a light flesh tone and begin sculpting the face. As always, I'm sculpting on top of the ceramic base I made myself. If you don't have anything like this, you can just use any other bakeable surface such as tin foil. I first used a silicone tool to kind of push back the forehead a bit, and then I also started shaping the nose. And because the face is so round and the nose is such a small button nose, I'm not adding any clay. If you have any questions about the tools I use to sculpt, I do have a basics video about the tools I use for doll sculpting, which should go through the main tools I use. The tool I do get questions about because it's not in that video is the one with a gold handle and then a red rubber or silicone tip. It's actually a dental tool meant for massaging gums, but it's really great for sculpting. Once you're done, you can pre-bake. I then made the basic shape for the body, added clay to the back of the head and pre-baked both of those. After baking, I added the neck, then pre-baked again before making the arms. If you don't want to pre-bake this many times, you don't necessarily have to. It's not a necessity to pre-bake after adding the neck, and you don't necessarily have to pre-bake after adding the arms and before adding the legs. Personally, I didn't want this one to be posable, but if you do want to make a posable miniature doll, I'm going to link the tutorial I recently made for a Monster High doll in the info box. After adding the arms, I did pre-bake just to make it easier to add the thumb, and I then made and added the legs the same way. I then baked it one last time, adding a tiny bit of liquid clay to the joints just to strengthen them. Next we're going to be making the dress. For this I just took some small scraps of fabric that kind of look like the ones in the picture, and I then started putting the dress together in small pieces. For parts of the dress I did end up adding some acrylic paint just to add some dimension and also to change the color of the skirt. And then for the pattern on the skirt, I started out with white acrylic paint and then used silver colored alcohol ink on top. The reason why I'm not mixing it with fabric medium for this tutorial is because you're not really going to bend it.
For the hair, I used blonde viscose. I first glued it on in small sections, let the glue dry, then styled it using watered down glue and added some shading using acrylic paint. The acrylic paint is also in itself going to act like a hairspray. Finally, we're going to paint the face. For this, I first used acrylic paint. I then added some more shading using soft pastels and added a tiny bit of additional paint to the hair. Seal that with a matte glaze, and the doll is done. Just because the animator doll does come with a small version of a pet, Pascal I think he's called, I did make a super simple version from Palmer Clay. Because the original one seems to be made from a satin-like material, I added some pearlix pigment, and then after baking, I added details using acrylic paint. Really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next tutorial.